My name is Professor Adeniyi Olayaju. By divine privilege, the Vice Chancellor of Landmark University, Omoharan, Kwara State. But more importantly, a member of the Agricultural Mechanization Research Cluster of the University. You are welcome to our teaching aid stand. The essence of teaching aid is to teach our engineering students, especially the younger ones at the 100 and 200 level, the different type of machines that we have in engineering. Here in this stand, we have three major sessions. We have the cassava production and processing plant. We have vegetable oil production and processing plant. And of course, the rice processing plant. In this stand, we have a special feature on hydroponic technology, popularly known as soilless agriculture. In the cassava production and processing plant, we have four different equipment. We have the cassava grater, the gari fryer, the cassava chip pelletizer, and of course, the cassava chip dryer. At the vegetable oil session, we have the oil seed grain cleaner, we have the vegetable oil expeller, we have the hydraulic oil press, and of course, the oil filter press. At the right production end, we have the rice treasure, the rice distoner, the grader, and of course, the cleaner. Hydroponic technology is to help our youth that are running away from agriculture, especially from the rigor or agri. But what hydroponic does is that it grows crop without soil using different media such as water and cocoa peat. The equipment we have here is the combined flow nutrient film hydroponic technique. Here we have a mixing tank that contains water and nutrients. There is a pump that takes the water up to another storage tank then the water thereafter falls under gravity into the pipe and it comes out to this cylindrical pipe that has different holes and what is called net pops. Here the seedlings are already transplanted into each of the cups and thereafter the roots of that seedling absorb nutrients from water. Then the water drains back and we have a continuous cycle. So here we have a continuous flow of the nutrient. The advantage of this over order is that the pump does not run continually for 24 hours. It works for like two hours in a day and we have the water flows under gravity. You are welcome to the cassava processing model equipment. The first operation in cassava unit is peeling. And so here we have a cassava peeler. We just pour our cassava here, pour it. Here is an electric motor with agitation and a, a abrasive force. The cassava is peeled and we collect it from here. We take it to the cassava grater for grating of the machine. This increases the service area of processing. It can be manually operated, can also be motorized. It's now depending on what you want to use your cassava product for. The first one is, here we have the cassava gari fryer. This is an improvement over the traditional method. And so the cassava is for here, but prior to that time, here we have a bellow. Yeah, we have a bellow here for working on the charcoal. And once the fire is done, then we close this plate and then it is transferred into the stainless steel plate. And thereafter, the gari is fried. But if we are going to use the cassava to produce chip, talking about cassava chip, then we can have, first of all, have 
a pelletizing machine that will make the cassava to be in pelletized form. Pour it through the hopper here and then through a conveyor, then the pellet is made and it's chopped into different sizes. And because it will be in wet form, there is need to dry the pellets. And so here we have what is called a cabinet tray dryer. In this equipment, we have three of such plates. So you have tray one, tray two, and three. This is charcoal fired. So here we have charcoal pot, one, two. And so after the fire is made, close it, and then it is transferred for drying. And then the essence of this is to convey the smoke out. So you will notice that in the dryer and the gari fryer, the operator, most of the time the processors that are women, do not have contact with smoke. And that helps them to stay longer and fry or dry more products. In nice seed processing, there are three major equipment. One, the grain cleaner. Two, the oil expeller. And three, the oil filter press. The grain cleaner is to remove foreign materials or stone that can damage the equipment and by so doing, causing tear and wear to the machine. It uses the principle of specific gravity. And so the blower blows foreign matter away. The screen separates the products, the oil seed, from foreign matter. Thereafter, the seed is poured into the upper of the oil expeller. There is an expression chamber that has a warm shaft rotating at a very slow speed using gear reduction motor. This is because there has to be a resident time for the oil to be expressed. This can be done either at cold expression level or with an aided heater to raise the temperature so that the oil can flow easily. But you agree with me that this uses mechanical means and by so doing it causes pulverization of the seed with the oil that is expressed. So naturally, one may have to wait for like two days, 48 hours, so that the oil they can settle and is scooped out from the town. But no businessman wants to waste such time. And so because of this, there is need for a plate frame uh, filter press. This separates the particles from the oil seed, and then we have a clean oil. Thank you. Welcome to the rice processing unit. Here we have three major equipment. The thresher, the distoner, and the grader. There are two types of threshers. The throw-in thresher and the hold-on thresher. This depends on the size of the grains. When we have long grain or long panicle, then we make use of the hold-on thresher. Where we have the short panicle, then we have the throwing in thresher. The thresher remove the rice grain from the straw. Combined with this thresher, it's also a blowing unit that take care of the removal of the foreign matters that will have been harvested with the grain right from the field. Also, we notice that there are stones that may have been also packed with the rice during threshing and during harvesting. And so because of this, there is need for a grain distoner. This removes stones from rice using specific gravity method. After the stoning, there is need also to grade the rice into different sizes, especially the long and the short grain. Thereafter, the rice is packaged for market.
Don't forget, all that we have in this time are just modern. You may now proceed to where we have the real life experience of the processing plant. Thank you.